it's a really interesting job. There's so many things on the go and so many things are changing in waste management that it's, it's an interesting place to work for sure. If you've ever wondered what happens to your garbage in Kelowna, well, it shows up here at the Glenmore Landfill, where 30% of it is recycled and reused, and the other 70% is disposed of. I will say construction and demolition debris makes up the biggest component of the garbage we do receive here. Over the last five years, we're receiving about 155,000 metric tons of garbage per year, but we also manage about 70,000 metric tons of recoverable materials. As garbage decomposes, the landfill gas is created, and not only is it a regulatory objective for the province to make sure that the landfill is managing these gases correctly, but Hoekstra believes it's the right thing to do as a municipality. According to Hoekstra, Fortis BC gets enough gas from the Kelowna landfill to heat over 690 homes in Kelowna. And so we work quite hard on making sure we've got the landfill covered and operating properly so as to minimize any fugitive emissions. And then everything else we're able to capture and either beneficially reuse by putting it through the renewable natural gas system with Fortis, or if we have to, we flare it off to make sure we're not generating more GHGs. Hoekstra says the landfill is working towards an all-green fleet, shifting to all-electrical vehicles in the coming years. But for now, the process is just beginning. We've actually done a, a pilot and a, a trial with a small electric compact loader for loading compost up at the, the residential area here. And we're looking to acquire one of those later on in the year. As Earth Day is this Friday, Hoekstra says a good way to be better for the world is to correctly divide your recycling. I'm Braden Ursel for Castanet.